Martin's going to get us going again, but I had a question for you. Do you remember when Neil was presenting? And he said, when I wore a younger man's clothes. What is that reference to? That's a song. Pardon me? My clothes. <laughs> no, no. No, he said, when I wear, when, and he was talking about Pat, and then he said, Pat and him being senior, uh, a veteran Rotarians, let's call it that. And he said the phrase, when I wore a younger man's clothes. Where's that come from? A song. What song? Piano Man, Billy Joel Piano Man, exactly. Martin, you're oh, up. There we go. Thank you. <laughs> Great, thank you. Thank you for that trivia, um, Al. That is fantastic. Now, moving on, a um, bit of a news flash. Uh, Martin Harvey uh, is, is waiting. We, uh, Mary phoned him. And uh, Mary, what did you say? What was it? See? See? So he's there. He's ready. He's waiting. He's waiting. Did, it, did anyone else phone him? Did anyone else make the call? Oh, you gotta get Interrupt that. his lunch. Do it. I think that's <laughs> okay. Well, do... Yeah. <laughs> you don't have to do it right now, but anyway, uh, absolutely. He's, he's super... Yeah, he's, he's super good at getting back to people and so passionate this, about doing this. So, um, so let's jump in and let's just see where, where we got to. So uh, I'm, if it's okay, Mosaics... Can I? Yeah, you guys. So, because I'm on their table. So, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take that over right now. Um, so, you had some news to share with me about where you are with your club plan, right? And what you've done in the past. So, maybe just somebody say a few words. Yeah, great. Yay! Come on, guys. Come on. Whoa, 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 whoa. It is not on Club Runners. That's something we're going to do. Ooh. You guys can hold us accountable for that. Okay, good. Um, one thing we want to work on is reviewing our strategic plan more often. Because we get a lot of ideas tossed around during our meetings, um, during committee meetings, just during regular meetings. But we want to make sure that all of these ideas are aligned with our strategic plan so that we're operating within that plan. Great. Did you, did you, if I can, again, put you on the spot, did you pick a time when you would do that review? Or a time frame, or? Yeah, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. I mean, you know, and I totally agree with what you're doing. There'll be absolutely no harm in even posting what you've got now. I mean, I think that's something we shouldn't feel it's kind of super old. Like, if you share that, it's in. And then when you update it, you put the next one in. So if you've got it, I would suggest put it in. And then, obviously, you're going through an you know, update process. But let's share what we're doing. OK? OK, who, who else wants to say what their club's doing? Okay, all right. Well, what I would like to say is thank you for the template. Okay. Do you think it would be useful? Ago, when I was an engineering student, I walked into a class, and on the blackboard was K-I-S-S. -S. Yeah, yeah. Good, simple, stupid. Yeah, absolutely. And the professor said, any idiot can make it complex. You have to be smart <laughs> to make it simple. And, uh, you know, the simpler we can make it, the less complex you can make it. Okay, and we'll send out the link. Obviously, you can change it and do whatever you want. So I appreciate that. Other other clubs, where are you at? So we have we have two clubs. Don't be shy. <laughs> Brian Carnahan's got there. Brian, come on, buddy. <laughs> where? No, no, come on. Where are you? I mean, you know, we're sharing here. It's, guys, there's no good just keeping it in us. We got to share. I mean, look, we're all trying our best, right? So yeah, Brian, come on. Where are you? Uh, Brian Carnahan, uh, Rotary Club of Calgary East. 
Um, we've done strategic planning in the past, but it's sitting on the shelf. Okay. Um, so I am going to pick a date in the month of March. Okay. So Yay, come on, well done, Brian. Hey, so we'll come on. At our club, um, I'm calling it 2020 Vision. Nice. Nice. Instead of club plan. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to get Martin Harvey. Okay. Uh, yeah, and funky glasses. Um, I'm going to get Martin Harvey and our AG to uh, facilitate the session. And we're going to use the template here to go. Okay. To, Terrific. To, to develop a plan for our club. And let us know what you think. I mean, this is, as I said, this is, you know, a journey and this is. Uh, you know, we're trying to learn ourselves. So that, thank you for that commitment, Brian. Thank you. Okay, so let's keep going here. Uh, okay, so okay, so so obviously the arms have been a bit slow going up. So I'm going to throw some some clubs out. Pincher Creek. Pint, don't hide. <laughs> Pincher Creek. What are your thoughts? Well, we have the living you have one. You you have one. Well, we have the you, you have a good. Okay. Okay. Cool. Cool. Okay. Nice. So that's a s and that and that's a signature that's a, that's a big one, right? Signature project. Okay. Do you have, I'm going to ask, do you have any other goals for the club? Or do you have, that's it? Okay, so? So we are lacking in a strategic plan. Mike, please. We're lacking in a strategic plan, uh, and we're thinking now it's a good idea. Our problem is we're kind of trying to climb out of a hole with respect to membership. Uh, and... Yeah, that's going to be a difficulty to, I mean, uh, actually that would probably be the first point in the plan is okay. to grow the membership and discuss how to do it. Yeah, well, I th and that's, absolutely. I mean, you are where you are, right? You know, we, we have to start from some point. You have a plan that's like your project. So then look at what needs to be done to achieve that project, right? They launched their project a couple of weeks ago. There was, what, 40, 50 people in the room there, right? Mm -hmm. There was a lot of people. Good, good, good. So to me, quite frankly, you have a plan. It's pretty wild, right? It's big. It's big. That's good, though. Wilds are great. Big plans are fantastic. Trust me, I know about that. Um, but uh, um, have something that you can share with the, with, the, with, the, uh, with the rest of the district, something you can share with club members, something you can share with other people as to where it, what you're about. One page. I mean, I think it's worth doing that. Because then if you share with the, with the uh, I mean, from my perspective, if you share with the district, when you share it, people want to get on board with you. Wouldn't it be nice if, if 47 clubs got on board with what you want to do? That would be pretty nice, yeah. So, so think of it in that way. It's not, you know, spilling secrets. It's sharing about what we want to do. And passion can come from uh, many sources, not just from your club. We need to get it out there. Does that make sense? Good. So what day are you going to uh, send, what date are you going to uh, uh, put that together? What do you think? No, no. Uh, no, no. I'm not going to commit to a date. Okay, fair enough. But do you think, would you commit to doing it? Good, good, that's fair enough. Okay, good, thank you. Okay, who? Okay, now what, okay, so what clubs have I missed so far? Come on, speak out, who, who hasn't? Pat? Yeah. Oh, Rotaract, yeah, they're the, yay, Rotaract! Yeah, yeah, what do you think? Okay, hi, I'm Taylor from the University of Lessons Rotaract Club. Uh, so our Rotaract clubs in general are just structured and organized very, very differently than Rotary clubs in general. Um, so for us, it changes drastically each year. Mm. Okay. Um, so last year we actually did a strategic planning, club planning session at the end of April, which I think works best for our club because that's an uh, exam to finish. 
whoever's in town still generally are the ones that are more motivated to actually put in work for the club. Um, so yeah, I think that that would probably be a good time. We did it right before Mosaic's comedy night last year, and that works really well. We just met at the Penny and walked down to the comedy night right after, and I think that that would probably be a good choice for us to do again this year. Um, so yeah, we just it's on, it's on the shelf. It's in the Google Docs, actually. So we just need to take it off, restructure it, and well, that's awesome. And I mean, just again, th thank you. Yay. So, so again, on that, guys, I mean, it, there's obviously work going on, right? Let's be crystal clear here. It's not like, you know, it's not happening. But if you do it, share it, okay? With what you're doing, we have four Rotor Act clubs in the district, right? Share that. Like, let's see what's happening. Makes a big difference, all right? Um, now, okay, so we're down to probably, well, like, okay, is anyone from Raymond here? Oh, there's, okay, hi. Okie tokes. Hi, Mike. <laughs> okay, so um, we're running Conservative Novel Plan. Okay. So our, our plan is to find out what's in the Novel Plan. If we do, where is it? <laughs> That's good. Okay, so I'm going to ask some. I'm going to ask some questions then. So, um, when do you pick your president elect? We do it in December. Yeah. Okay, December. So. We do it in January, which is last week. Yeah. So, so when do you? Sorry, when do you pick your president elect? Well, in our case, when the last one quit. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. No. The so I've only been um, with Rotary for ten months. Okay. So I'm not sure. Really yeah. I think is it fair, guys? Generally, dis hang on. Excuse me, guys. Just a sec, please. Uh, generally, is it December, January? I'm just at, like, is that a sort of a fair range? If and I, I totally appreciate the situation you're in, right? But if if there's a way of doing the selecting, and in fact, quite frankly, trying to get the, the president Lex listed has been a bit of a challenge. So I would throw out that if, if, if you can identify president elects in that uh, December, January f time frame, that gives you time then for the president elect to, be, to, to develop the club plan. Because really, you, uh, we want the club plan to be ready for, the new, for when the person becomes the president. So and that's that kind of five month period, right? So, I mean, you're in a very different situation. So Fantastic. Isn't that good for you guys? That is so cool. Okay, so, so just as I wrap up, am I out of clubs? Has every, has every club spoken? Come on. Come on, who hasn't? All right, now, now we're really deep. <laughs> okay. Hey. <laughs> and we're going to do it uh, off-site and invite all the membership who wishes to attend. Exactly, yeah. Uh, all three attend band performance by uh, the committee chairs. There we go. Thank you so much. That's, yeah, that's, that's fantastic. Okay, so no more clubs? Where's Raymond? Oh, hi. Oh, don't you hide, guys. Come on. Carsten. <laughs> We're going to keep, hey, is it, I'm holding you back from lunch, guys, all right? So, you know, there's, there's no lunch till you've, uh, yeah. Hi, Paul. Sharon Jensen, President-elect from Hartston. Okay. We will, we have a uh, business meeting with the Rotary Council next week. Okay. And we're going to present it so we can get started on Thank our date. Thank you, great. So by March, and then it will be completed by May 30th. That, and that's fantastic, guys. And don't forget, don't forget, this is going out on Facebook Live, eh? I mean, no, no. <laughs> I'm just saying, okay, and I think, I think Raymond, right, that's, uh, yeah, okay, fantastic. And then Lethbridge Downtown Club. 
Okay. Sorry, wait a minute. I'm Lynn Hancock. Hi, Lynn. Raymond, and I'm at the very basic. I don't know if we have time. Okay. For extensive okay. Find, find it out. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Okay, that's great. Thank you. And sorry, Lethbridge downtown. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Pat. Pat, it started with you, man. It started. We did our last plan in 2015-16. Okay. Uh, we've nicely tucked it on the uh, Club Runner shelf. So it is in Club Runner. Whether you can find it's another matter. <laughs> oh. It's within Club documents. And anyways, don't worry about it. Well, they are, yeah, they are listed. Say again? Uh, sorry, this, they are listed under uh, strategic plans. So it should be there, right? Yeah, the strategic plan is under Club documents. Yeah. In our Club in there. In there. Oh, okay. Yeah. Anyways, um, <laughs> and our, I think our challenge is probably to, to drive down from the strategic plan and, and consider what we did three years ago as the current committees consider their plans for, for our coming year or this year that we're in. And so I would, uh, when we're going to update it, how we're going to update it, that's the hard question. So I would defer to the president elect. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, hey. Hey, but I didn't know it. I didn't know it come back to you. <laughs> oh, okay. There we go. So I'm just saying. Al just said on Facebook Live that it's going to be done. When Al? Within a week. Within a week. All right. Well, thank you. Look, look, everybody. That's uh, look, look. Just to wrap it up. I mean, thank you so much for your input. Um, it's it's huge, and I think you know we talk about vibrant clubs and. And, you know, getting that buzz, uh, those conversations are, are going to get the buzz going. I mean, there's no question. And so I want to thank you for your help. Any feedback you have, let us know. Uh, you have the resource people that can talk to you. People have done it before. But I just want to say a huge thank you for your input today. Thank you very much. Okay, well, it's just about, well, it is lunchtime. Before we go for lunch, a couple of things. One of the things I forgot to mention right at the very, very beginning is that we really need to thank the Lethbridge Sandman Signature Lodge because they have given us this room for free. The, um, yeah, the, uh, the Downtown Rotary Club, as they're not like to be called, but the Lethbridge Rotary Club has a wonderful relationship with them, and this is where they meet, is upstairs here. Anyways, when we talked to them, they offered this room to us for free, so I think that's a really big... <laughs> And it really is a very nice facility. Now, the other thing is we will start again about, I'll call, start calling people back about 2.20 um, because... 2.20. Yeah, go, go out and have fun. <laughs> All right, we'll make it 12.20. Um, 12.20 and Christine will talk to us. She's going to talk to us for 10, 15, 20 minutes. So I'll start... Okay, 10 minutes, but I'll start reminding people that she's going to come back, come back. so she'll probably start at 12.30, so you'll have a half an hour of fellowship, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Bethany is right there, and she is the one who has anyone who had any kind of special needs, and so you can talk to Bethany about whatever those were, and she will get it for you. Uh, there we are. Enjoy lunch.